Well, hello there. If there's one way of getting me to make another whiskey video, it's to write and say, please, will you do it? Hello, everyone, or hello, you. I'm Rosemary. For years, I've been blogging about whiskey, but it all seems to have disappeared. Or vlogging, I should say. So, I'm back, and things have changed. It's been a difficult year for everybody, and in the back of my mind, all through 2020, I've been thinking, is it really the right thing to do to be filling up the airwaves with yet another whiskey review? And yet I, for one, like many others, have been drinking a little bit more perhaps than I should have done. But there are some great drams around and with people saying, what are you going to be drinking for whiskey? For, for whiskey, for Christmas, I thought it was time to get back in touch with you. So one thing that's happened since we last met is I have a new whiskey cabinet. There we are. It's not over full. If you're, you know, sharp eyed, you'll see that there's lots of boxes in the back of the um, whiskies on the top shelf. And then there's other things like a uh, gin at the bottom and our incredible Orkney vodka. And this video is really going to be short and sweet. And it's just to say, hello, I'm still alive and drinking in Orkney. And therefore, the whiskey that I want to tell you about, first of all today, is a Highland Park 16-year-old, and it's called Twisted Tattoo. Now, why haven't I told you about this before, given that I think it's probably my favourite dram coming out of the High Park, that's what it stands for, distillery at the moment. Well, I thought this was a distillery special, but I've seen it on one of the big internet sites recently for amazingly about £15 less than I can buy it in the distillery shop here in Orkney. So I've decided to tell you about it. 16 years old, lots of character from the age, and it's coming out at 46 0.7, so it's quite a big wallop in terms of alcohol. What is unusual about this dram, and very unusual for Highland Park, is that it's actually matured in ex rioca barrels. So instantly you can imagine that you're going to get much more red fruit flavours in it. I think it's really complex. I don't think it's typical Highland Park. But for those of you who've been drinking whiskey for as long as I have, you'll know that Highland Park has really changed their flavour profiles. In fact, somebody wrote to me this week and said how much they'd love the old 18-year-old. Weren't getting the same vibes from the current 18-year-old, and what should they drink? So, you know, <laughs> distilleries do evolve. What you can get for a reasonable price is what they're making now. By the way, my answer to that question about the old style 18 year old was the uh, cask Orkney 18 year old from A.D. Rattray. I think it's, it's not exactly the same, it's not as leathery, but check it out and a very reasonable price. So here we go with this one. Very fruity. Um, Highland Park is a peated whisky. They are a bit divided as to whether they are or not. But of course, the um, heather peat of Hobbiston Moor is, is really what gives it its signature. And this has quite a lot of peat at the bottom on the first sip, at the bottom of the uh, tasting. But loads of sort of berry red fruit at the top. So a really interesting uh, first sip to unpack. I, I'm a great one. If you're new to me, if this is the first time you've seen me, oh, what have you been waiting for? Um, you will realise that I, um, straight away, I love chatting, so thank you for joining in. But for those of you who have been with me before, I'm a great first sip to get an initial impression, and then second sip to bind it all together. Because by then your mouth is used to the alcohol. And this is so much smoother than that first sip. So much more blended and yet the fruity red wine notes are 
quite dominant but really interesting against that smoke. The first time I had a red wine cask in whiskey was the uh, Dalmore, a cigar malt, which again is a real cult. I, it's going to be interesting to see uh, whether this twisted tattoo becomes a cult for Highland Park as well. Um, I was pretty blown away with that and um, I think it's just the complexity, you know, it's taking it's taking whiskey, if you like, into the realm of a prime fillet steak. Um, you know, like red wine, whiskey, fillet steak, um, you know, good quality outdoor reared beef. There are so many different flavours um, involved in your overall sensation of that. Some of the most complex flavours uh, that we imbibe, or, yeah, do we imbibe meat? Anyway, must be the whiskey. Now, with a drop of water in that one, to me, it actually releases more tannin, um, and it detracts from the whiskey as it is. I'm going to be perfectly honest, don't be shocked, I do like an ice cube in my whiskey. So I do use ice, I've got the Whiskey Rocks as well, but I do like um, the effect that the ice has. That's up to you. But I do like this slightly chilled, and, and the distillery reckons it's a summer whiskey. I reckon it's an all year round whiskey with that amount of smoke at the back, because it is definitely warming. But look out for it. Would I put it at 80 pounds, which is what I knew it at, on my Christmas whiskey list? I didn't know because I like to have sort of three, four, maybe five whiskies new for Christmas. So that gobbles up quite a lot of my whiskey budget. You know, I'm not in it for the big, big price tags. Um, but it is a whiskey that I usually have in my barrel. So I think this is actually the third bottle that I bought, and I think it came out last year, um, 2019. So that's a fairly regular purchase. But just to conclude, in case uh, I want to leave, leave you wanting more, because I am going to make a 2020 Christmas whiskey video next week. I just want to go back to Blooming Gorse from Weems Malts. Now, this was the opening whiskey on my Christmas whiskey video last year. It's a blended Highland malt, um, just two whiskies, I believe. And I want to say, I want to tell you that that is the fifth bottle of that that I've bought. And I've shared it when I've been able to share it with friends. But... I don't think I've ever bought five bottles of another whiskey before. I absolutely love that. So have a look for that as well. I won't tell you much about, I won't tell you any more about it now, in fact, um, because you can look at my Christmas whiskey video from 2019 and uh, get the tasting note from that then. So until we meet again, which honestly won't be long, uh, cheers. Um, really nice to see you again and keep the faith and keep drinking. Oh, and if you're wondering about that, that isn't our dog kennel. Um, we live on an old Second World War um, battery site and that is part of the defences and in fact the actual um, uh, power station, if you like, for the guns and the searchlights, um, well the searchlight I guess, is now our garden shed. So um, this is Orkney and littered all around our coast are things like that. You get to love them. Don't you like the grass roof? I've become quite fond of it. Cheers for now. Hmm. Jolly nice.